are listening to Critty's Corner. I am Christian Capello, a senior student athlete here at Cuca College and part of the men's soccer team. A lot of good stuff to cover in today's podcast. We will start with two big things of the week, move to athletes of the week, and then finish up with my bold prediction of the week. By the way, my prediction last week of the women's soccer team winning and keeping their clean sheet record alive was correct. They went to Penn State Abington and held on to a 4-0 victory. We will talk about that more later in the show. First, the Cuca College field hockey team clinched the regular season NEAC title this past Saturday, beating the Wells Express 7-0. This marks the first regular season NEAC title in school history. Starting off the scoring was senior Alyssa Orosino, who has been doing a great job leading this Wolves team. Sophomore Nicole Wilson had three goals to lead the Wolves in scoring against Wells. Also adding goals for the Wolves were Alyssa Madalino, Lexi Appleby, and Tori Gutzmer. Cuca dominated the game, having 26 shots and 12 penalty corners compared to Wells, zero shots and one penalty corner. Both Megan Makowski and Cassidy Valentine played a half and goal, each posting shutouts. This win pushed Cuca to a 4-8 overall record with a 2-0 record in the conference. They play their senior night Thursday, October 18th against Lancaster Bible. Secondly, the women's soccer team extended its winning streak to nine games after a 4-0 win against Penn State Abington this past Saturday. Emily McWiggin led the Wolves with both a goal and an assist in the game. Adding goals were Julia Oglesby, Abby Richards, and Kelsey Maurer. Cuca had the better of the half, being up 3-0 and outshooting Abington 9-3. The second half would be much of the same, but only scoring 25 minutes into the second half to extend their lead to 4-0. Cuca has won eight straight conference games and has yet to give up a goal in the conference. Their next conference game comes Saturday against Penn College at home. Cuca had two players that were named NEAC Student Athletes of the Week, Nicole Wilson from the field hockey team and Samba Duhanzi from the men's soccer team. First, Nicole Wilson led the field hockey team to a 1-1 record this past week. Wilson led the team in shots with three in their loss 2-1 to to Kings College during the week. But this past Saturday, Wilson led Cuca to their first regular season NEAC championship in school history, scoring three goals in that 7-0 victory. Wilson has been vital for the Wolves offensively this year, starting in 12 out of 12 games with four goals and two assists, having a total of 10 points, which ranks second on the team. Secondly, Samba Duhanzi, who was named Men's Offensive Player of the Week in the NEAC, Samba Duhanzi has been the men's soccer team's best offensive player all year long. Duhanzi first had an assist in a 3-0 non-conference win over Houghton this past Tuesday. Over the weekend, he added two goals in a 4-3 loss against the defending NEAC champions, Penn State Abington. Duhanzi has also four game-winning goals for the Wolves this year, helping the Wolves to an 8-7 overall record with a 5-3 record in the NEAC. So Critty's prediction of the week. The Cuca women's volleyball team will win both matches this week against Penn College and Penn State Berks. Cuca and Penn State Berks are currently tied for fifth in the conference with a record of 5-3. Penn finds themselves with a record of 0-8, and and they are at the bottom of the NEAC conference. Cuca has just three conference games left, so two wins this coming weekend would propel the Wolves to a NEAC playoff spot. The women's volleyball team's Next home game is Wednesday, October 24th against SUNY Poly. Thanks for listening to Critty's Corner and listen in next week where I'll give you information about Cuca College's annual pep rally, Wolf Madness, which takes place on November 1st this year. Also next week, I'll give you more updates on news, games, athletes of the week, and my own prediction. And thanks for listening to Critty's Corner.